Hey YouTube, this is Nash Taters. Uh, first things first, let's get uh, the apology out of the way. I did actually have to work last night. And for those of you who don't know, I actually work in the medical field. So pretty much spent 12 hours, 14 hours saving lives. Um, I do want to apologize though for not making content on Sunday. But uh, I work night shift, so I just got home. I work from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, so unfortunately, uh, I have to sleep during the day. So it was really one of those days where I just didn't feel comfortable making the content on Saturday night because I wasn't happy with my arena matches this week to really make a compilation video that was worthy of really watching, you know, worthy of putting up. So I, I um, usually try to plan ahead if I know I'm gonna work. I try to upload a video so that way it kind of gets scheduled to be released at a specific time. But I just wasn't too uh, happy with that work. And um, on top of it, um, I did have to go into work. So I do apologize. I, I, I want to make sure that I put out daily content. But uh, sometimes you're in a real life takes over. So that's that. And uh, But as always, I always check Monday morning's news for this game. And uh, since I was working at some downtime, I was really excited to see that uh, most of us were right. Uh, that Venera was going to be released this week. And it looks like Dario and uh, Terrell are going to be released with her. So I think I'm going to give you my perspective of whether you should or shouldn't summon on this banner. I have actually quite a bit to say about this banner. Um, I know a lot of people are perhaps expecting things from these units. But I'm going to give you my perspective of why you should or should not summon. And hopefully I will get that video out tonight once I go to bed after this video. Right after this video, I'm going to go sleep. Make sure I catch up, recover, uh, and then wake up. And then I'll try to put out that video whether or not we can talk about uh, more on this banner. But So we're going to do more detailed discussion about this banner specifically in the next video. But uh, some more exciting news though. We're getting some extra login bonuses. So the Final Fantasy XVS Universe continues. The uh, the celebration continues. So it looks like we're getting 10 days straight. We're getting 200 gems per day. Making up for a total of 2,000 gems. So that's a pretty good amount. That's a one full 10x pull, right? That's one 10x pull. Or, 400, or excuse me, 40 shards for one of your UR units. Uh, guild support campaign. So it looks like they're gonna give us guild stuff because they're increasing the statues for the guilds. It's kind of a nice thing. But they're of course giving us the 2,500. We're coming to expect that now every other week. So that's always good news. I say it's more like every week, right? It's every week, but you only get it for five days. Um, guild give campaign. So make sure you turn this on when you log into your guild on Wednesday because you're gonna get triple the amount which means you get three guild medals from each guild member that's kind of nice and they're talking about how they're going to enhance skill statues and I believe they're supposed to increase the level cap of the uh, statues as well I believe I read that all right that's that more good stuff of course, every time they release new units, they release uh, events and extra quests you can do to obtain materials. And of course, the EX usually has some kind of nice stuff attached to it. In this case, it's going to be the Mage Masher. It's a dagger recipe. So once you do all the normal quests, the EX quests will show up. Then you can do these and try to farm this if you have time, of course, and uh, try to do it on multi. So you can don't have to use energy and get a lot of nice items. This is pretty much one of my favorites. JP reward quest. Looks like they give this to us every other week, which is super sweet. Make sure you do this. Make sure you get some of your units uh, maxed out on uh, skills and whatnot. Try to take advantage of this as obviously as much as you can. And the next thing is kind of interesting, right? The mock guild battle. Um, we already had the mock arena battle, which did give us rewards, but this one they're claiming that they're gonna give us no rewards. 
and uh, so it says right here, though there are no rewards, the mock guild battle allows you to train for actual guild battles because they're changing the map for guild battles. So they're giving you a chance to kind of like play around with your units and kind of see how they do. And you can actually put them on auto and just kind of see them go work. Now, of course, this doesn't require any energy. And here it is. The next guild map will be updated to the ancient rooms. And this is where I saw this. All the guild statues level cap to be increased from level 5 to 10. So the higher level guilds definitely are probably looking forward to this. And uh, of course it says overall increase of each guild statue bonuses per statue level are also going up obviously. That's pretty obvious there. And then uh, you're getting more JP percentage for each Kieran statue. Which is really nice from 6 to 10. Because that's definitely really great. It makes you work harder for your guild right and give you a more incentive to work hard together and that's what this game's all about community it's all about building a nice community so does it look like they're releasing any more information because it doesn't say anything about free 10x pools or anything but uh yeah i think i'm gonna go in more details on this banner for sure i think that's definitely news worthy of uh discussing because i feel like i have a lot to say about vinara and dario and Terrell, I think Terrell is whatever. Terrell is Terrell. I think that's it in terms of news. Um, I'm actually quickly approaching 200. I haven't really honestly paid too much attention to my subscriber lately. Because the way I look at it was, you know, I'm truly really trying to just do this more as a hobby. And uh, but at the same time, I love this game enough that I really wanted to make sure I release daily content. And so really lately, I haven't really been paying too much attention to the subscribers. But I do want to really thank all the new subscribers that's joining the channel and becoming part of the Tater family. And I want to thank you all for that. I want to thank all the folks who have been watching my videos and enjoying my content. Uh, I think last week was kind of weak, right? In terms of, <laughs> it was pretty dry in terms of content. But I feel like I was really proud of that history of uh, War of Divisions. I feel like um, I really admire those videos where people do histories on things. There's this guy, his name is Gaming Historian. He does a lot of like history stuff on video games because he's, I guess he's a big fan of the uh, vintage col game collecting. He's part of like this group of vintage game collectors on YouTube. And uh, I was really big into those guys because I used to collect physical copies of video games. Which leads to me thinking that I'm kind of old school, right? I'm really into physical things, things that I can hold in my hands, you know, whether they're video games or Lego or toys or boobies. Um, you know, I just like to hold on to things. And, and that's why sometimes I feel like with gaming nowadays, in the new, you know, era of gaming, like gotcha games, spending money on virtual reality things. Sometimes a little bit off-putting for me. But uh, I really don't mind spending money on War of Divisions because this game has allowed me to put some of my first loves in games, like Final Fantasy, which introduced me to RPGs, and Final Fantasy Tactics, which allowed me to uh, look into the strategy game genre. And, to, you know, to get all those units and all those characters that I love as a kid, as a young adult, whatnot, and all into one game. A beautiful, beautifully crafted game. So for me, I, I, or like I said, I really don't mind spending some cash here and there on this game. So going forward, that's definitely something I'll continue to do on my main account. But uh, as always, when I do the show and tell for that, it's just going to be that. You know, just bear in mind that I am spending a few bucks here and there on that account. So don't really try to compare yourself to that account if you're completely free to play. And this account, I love, well, as you can see, I changed it. I love WOTV is where I really try to showcase how I clear content or my approach of looking at this game in terms of perspective uh, from a completely free-to-play perspective. But at work, when I have downtime, I started brainstorming. I think fresh week, fresh month. And for the rest of the year, I have a lot of ideas, a lot of content ideas that perhaps the other channels are not going to go over. So I'm going to be excited really about talking about those subjects. And um, 
the Free Friday thinking. I don't know if those of you caught it, but uh, FFT, Final Fantasy Tactics. All right, anyways, I really want to make sure that series uh, takes off because there's a lot of um, things I want to talk about that I feel like it's perfect to fit onto that specific format. So that way we can get more people to you know join in the discussion because I'm really trying to avoid Reddit if I could because there's a lot of good folks, obviously, in the world, but there's also a lot of, you know, not so many, uh, you know, positive people that jumps on Reddit. But uh, I don't want to drag this video too long. But overall, I'm really excited about the news. Really excited about this week. I got some nice content that's coming up for the rest of the week. I do have responsibilities. I save children's lives for a living. And so that's something that's very important and very passionate for me uh, to do. But I'm also very passionate about this game in this channel. So if I do miss a day, I do apologize ahead of hand, but I'll try not to miss those days and I'll try to keep content flowing for this channel. Uh, as always, take care of yourself and all your loved ones. Nash Haters out.